TTIP allows the West basically to push for a level playing field, to push for common rules and regulations when it comes to labor standards, environmental standards. When you look at how products and services are being exported by uh, third countries, then it makes sense that the EU and the US would want to ensure that it is done according to our values, which also promote our, uh, our, our companies. If there would be an ideal situation is a very balanced TTIP that has certain economic gains incorporated but at the same time sets very high levels for social and environmental protection at the same time manages to bridge the gap towards SMEs to really see issues being addressed and uh, have a very balanced uh, 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 agreement that contains nuggets of gold that would be able to work for, uh, for a longer future uh, and also work globally. Trade unions have been in favour of trade for generations because it means good jobs uh, and lower cost of living. Uh, what we're not so keen on is the sort of trade agreement we're getting now, like TTIP, which we think goes far beyond the regulated free trade that we've supported. We think it's a risk for the National Health Service. We think it gives too much uh, opportunity to foreign investors at the expense of everybody else. So what we want to see is a return to the values of good trade trade and fair trade. One of the main pillars of the TTIP negotiations is something called regulatory convergence. And different regulatory regimes on both sides of the Atlantic are, that, that's at least what the negotiators are trying, is to harmonize those as much as possible. Um, in the event that the UK is outside of the EU, it would probably be a regulation taker. So it would have to accept, without having been able to influence, any regulations that are then agreed between the US and the EU. The issue of the UK uh, membership of the EU is, is obviously quite uh, relevant to TTIP because um, if the UK le decides to leave the EU then of course, then TTIP is really off the table for, for the UK but it also uh, changes the way the EU would presumably negotiate itself. Now from a US business perspective we see a strong UK and a strong EU as critical. The US uh, government has stated that they're not interested in negotiating with uh, uh, single countries. They see uh, regional trade agreements as more preferable. Uh, and I, I would tend to support that, uh, that view. If TTIP is believed by the broader European public to have been pushed through without taking into account their sometimes legitimate, sometimes not so legitimate concerns about the free trade agreement, it could feed into the populist Eurosceptic narrative we see in various parts of Europe. And this then becomes a problem in the longer term that we might have achieved TTIP but we end up with a Europe that is more vulnerable, more fragmented, and uh, more at risk of becoming uh, either more anti-American or, or anti-free trade.